you're probably hearing all the hype about GPT-6 and wondering if it's actually worth paying attention to, or if it's just another incremental update. Well, I've spent months researching everything OpenAI has officially confirmed about their next flagship model, and here's what surprised me. GPT-6 isn't just about being bigger or smarter, it's about fundamentally changing how AI works with you. And the timeline? It's closer than you think. Welcome back to bitbias.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what we know about GPT-6 based on official sources and credible reports. We'll cover how it compares to GPT-4 and GPT-5, what it means for the path to AGI when you can actually expect to use it, and who's behind all of this. By the end, you'll have a clear picture of what's coming and why it matters. Let's start with the evolution. The evolution, GPT-6 versus GPT-5 versus GPT-4. Each OpenAI generation has brought something game-changing. GPT-4, launched in March 2023, was the first truly multimodal model. It could process both text and images. The context window expanded to 32,000 tokens, allowing it to handle entire documents while maintaining coherence. Its reasoning abilities on complex tasks like legal and medical questions set a new standard. GPT-5, unveiled in August 2025, took a completely different architectural approach. Instead of being one massive model, it's a unified system with multiple specialized models working together. You might have noticed the auto, fast, and thinking modes in ChatGPT. That wasn't just a UI trick. GPT-5 intelligently routes queries to either a lightning-fast response model or a deeper reasoning model that thinks through complex problems step-by-step. Step. This is the real innovation. GPT-5 knows when to be quick and when to be thorough. Sam Altman called it their smartest, fastest, most useful model yet, and noted it achieved PhD-level skills in many domains, representing a significant step along the path to AGI. Performance gains were massive, better coding ability, superior math problem solving, and dramatically fewer hallucinations. The context window expanded to 256,000 tokens in ChatGPT, up to 400,000 via API, compared to GPT-4's 32,000. You can now feed it entire books or massive code bases. GPT-5 also introduced native multimodality. It was trained from scratch on text, images, and audio simultaneously, not bolted together afterward. OpenAI even hinted at video capabilities. But here's where GPT-6 changes everything. Altman has explicitly said it won't just be another bigger GPT, it'll be more useful. The focus is shifting from pure scale to functionality. The biggest theme, personalization and long-term memory. GPT-6 is expected to adapt to individual users, learning your writing style, tone, and preferences over time. But not just within a session. It will remember conversations from days, weeks, even months ago. Imagine an AI assistant that actually knows you, building a persistent understanding over time. Another massive shift. True agent-like behavior. GPT-5 can autonomously use tools like a web browser. GPT-6 will reportedly handle multi-step tasks without supervision. Ask it to plan your vacation and book everything? It won't just give recommendations. It'll handle the browsing, forms, and purchasing. This do-everything assistant vision is what GPT-6 is building toward. The multimodal capabilities will expand further, natively handling images, audio, and video with unprecedented fluidity. Imagine an AI that can watch a video clip, understand what's happening, answer questions about it, or even edit it. Altman mentioned GPT-6 will be bigger and different than GPT-5. The AI community speculates we could see trillion-plus parameters, though OpenAI hasn't confirmed specifics. But scale isn't the only strategy. GPT-5 showed that smarter training techniques can yield huge gains without just adding parameters. Bottom line? GPT-6 aims to be more powerful, context-aware, personalized, and action-oriented than anything before. 
It's shrinking the gap between a tool and a true digital colleague. GPT-6 and the path to AGI. The big question, what does GPT-6 mean for AGI? Artificial general intelligence, AI that can perform most tasks as well as humans, has been the holy grail since the beginning. OpenAI's entire mission is to build it safely. Before GPT-5's launch, Altman called it a significant step along the path to AGI with PhD-level abilities in many domains. If GPT-5 was a significant step, GPT-6 could be a leap. Altman has suggested that by GPT-6 or GPT-7, we might see AI systems that meaningfully contribute to new scientific discoveries, one of his key markers for approaching AGI. Some researchers were already saying GPT-5 was doing important pieces of physics, and he expects GPT-6 to push further. But what even is AGI? The definition has been shifting. OpenAI used to talk about it as a clear finish line, but now they see it as a continuous process. Altman says calling AGI a binary concept is less useful because different people define it differently. Don't expect a press conference declaring, we have AGI now. Instead, each model will gradually exhibit more general intelligence. That said, the timeline seems to be accelerating. In early 2025, Altman wrote, we are now confident we know how to build AGI as we have traditionally understood it. That's extraordinary. It implies the remaining work is just scaling up and engineering, not discovering unknown principles. He even speculated that in 2025, we may see the first AI agents join the workforce. If that holds, GPT-6, expected around 2026, could power those first AI employees working alongside humans. OpenAI's leaked roadmap suggests they're building toward a super assistant with broad general competence. GPT-6 is likely the engine for that vision. Not everyone's convinced AGI is this close. AI researcher Gary Marcus argued GPT-5 didn't deliver on the grandest promises. Some worried about diminishing returns from scaling. OpenAI's counter-argument New techniques can unlock progress even if just increasing size yields smaller gains. On safety, Altman and others have warned that advanced AI comes with serious risks, even existential ones. In 2023, leaders signed a statement comparing AI extinction risk to pandemics and nuclear war. For GPT-6, this means intensive safety evaluations and gradual deployment. There may even be new regulations by the time it arrives. The takeaway? GPT-6 will be another significant step, possibly a big one, toward AI that outperforms humans at most economically valuable work. Many eyes will watch its performance on previously impossible tasks. Will it solve novel math theorems, discover medical treatments? Those breakthrough feats would signal we're approaching AGI. OpenAI is investing billions to make it happen. The AGI race is alive, and GPT-6 is a pivotal runner. Release Timeline When can we actually use GPT-6? The burning question, when is GPT-6 coming out? As of late 2025, OpenAI hasn't announced a date, but they've clarified one thing. GPT-6 will not be released in 2025. This came after wild rumors circulated claiming a year-end drop. OpenAI publicly debunked those claims and emphasized they're still focused on GPT-5. But here's the interesting part. Altman hinted that the gap between GPT-5 and GPT-6 will be shorter than the GPT-4 to GPT-5 gap. That was about 28 months, March 2023 to August 2025. A shorter gap suggests less than two years, pointing to a possible release sometime in 2026 or very early 2027. Industry watchers are predicting a 2026 launch. In August 2025, Altman said GPT-6 is already in the works, and won't take as long as GPT-5 did. Active development has begun. Leaks suggest OpenAI was preparing infrastructure even as GPT-5 rolled out. Building data centers and securing GPUs takes months. OpenAI has signaled intermediate updates before GPT-6. A GPT-5.1 or GPT-5.5 is on the horizon, similar to the GPT-4.5 and GPT-4.1 releases we saw before. 
These upgrades keep users engaged while GPT-6 training continues, and they allow OpenAI to test next-gen features on a smaller scale. Regulatory timing matters too. Throughout 2023-2024, governments crafted AI regulations. The EU's AI Act, U.S. Executive Orders, Global AI Safety Summits. OpenAI might coordinate GPT-6's release to ensure compliance. Altman has said GPT-6 will be customizable from a neutral baseline, addressing policy requirements about political neutrality. Best advice? Watch OpenAI's official channels in 2026. If patterns hold, expect a staged reveal, demo or research paper first, followed by a live stream or developer event. Expect GPT-6 sometime in 2026, accompanied by careful rollout. OpenAI learned from GPT-5's rocky start and aims to make GPT-6's release smooth. Sam Altman, the man steering the revolution. Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, is the driving force behind GPT-6. Before OpenAI, he led Y Combinator, the famous startup accelerator. In 2015, he co-founded OpenAI as a nonprofit alongside Elon Musk, Ilya Sutskever, and others. When Musk left in 2018, Altman became CEO. Under his leadership, OpenAI transformed from pure research into a product powerhouse. ChatGPT's launch in November 2022 was the tipping point. It hit 100 million users in two months, the fastest adoption ever. Altman later said it kicked off a growth curve like nothing we have ever seen and launched the AI revolution. Altman forged a deep partnership with Microsoft, which invested billions and created OpenAI's for-profit arm in 2019 to fund massive model training. In March 2025, OpenAI closed a $40 billion Series F funding round, one of the largest private tech investments ever. By late 2024, ChatGPT reached 300 million weekly active users. His journey had drama. In November 2023, OpenAI's board fired him, citing disagreements. Within days, he was back after over 700 employees threatened to quit. Altman called it a big failure of governance, but emerged with greater trust and clout. His leadership style is visionary yet pragmatic. He believes in iterative deployment, gradually releasing AI so society can adapt. This philosophy guided ChatGPT, GPT-4, and GPT-5. He's also product first, focusing on real-world impact over pure research. Yet he's deeply concerned about AI safety, signing warnings about extinction risk, and engaging with policymakers globally. Quick comparisons. Elon Musk, initially Altman's mentor and OpenAI co-founder, Musk left in 2018 after disagreements. He criticizes OpenAI for abandoning its nonprofit, open source roots. Altman argues the for profit structure was necessary for survival. Musk emphasizes truth and transparency, founding XAI for Truth GPT, while Altman prioritizes usefulness and alignment. Musk is the cautionary futurist. Altman is the hands on builder. Demis Hassabis, DeepMind's CEO, shares Altman's AGI goal, but differs in approach. Hasabis is researcher first, famous for AlphaGo and AlphaFold. DeepMind focused on research quality over speed for years. Altman raced ahead with public deployment. Hasabis is like a scientist running an academic lab. Altman is the entrepreneur shipping products. Both signed AGI risk warnings and are now effectively leading rival efforts. OpenAI versus Google DeepMind. Their competition drives the field forward. Recent rankings placed Altman as the number one AI leader for turning AI mainstream, with Hasabis at number three for building Google's research powerhouse. GPT-6 stands on the horizon as OpenAI's next giant leap. We can expect a model that surpasses GPT-4 and GPT-5 in capability, but more importantly, it's aiming to be a true AI assistant with long-term memory, personalization, multimodal fluency, and autonomous action. It could mark the shift from AI tool to AI colleague. The AGI implications are significant. GPT-6 may be the first to blur the line in certain domains, potentially solving complex problems 
or generating insights that surprise even its creators. It will test our preparedness as a society for AI that remembers months of interactions and executes tasks on our behalf. The timeline points to 2026. The consensus among industry watchers aligns with Altman's hints about a shorter development cycle. Expect incremental GPT 5.x updates to tease what's coming, followed by a carefully orchestrated launch. At the center is Sam Altman, whose leadership balances bold innovation with societal concerns. Compared to Musk and Hasabis, he's the bridge builder, connecting research with deployment, tech with regulators, different AI philosophies with practical progress. We stand at an exciting juncture. The jump from GPT-4 to GPT-5 brought AI that codes, creates, and converses better than ever. GPT-6 promises to push into territory that once belonged only to human intelligence. It's both thrilling and delicate. The tone is cautious optimism. Cautious because we must get safety and ethics right. Optimistic because the benefits, from medical research to education to productivity, are immense. With leaders like Altman, Hasabis, and others shaping this future collaboratively and competitively, there's reason to believe this technology will be guided wisely. Keep your eyes on OpenAI's channels in 2026. When GPT-6 debuts, it could be the most significant AI system yet, featuring prominently in AI's evolution toward general intelligence. The question remains, what role do we want it to play? With informed leadership and public dialogue, GPT-6 can be another step toward AI that truly serves humanity's best interests. The journey continues, and we're about to write a compelling new chapter.